welcome to Annie Mitchell and George's house. This is the set, our main set. This is where they, they live. It's a corner plot, and what we've done is to be able to create a great deal of depth, as you can see from the living room here, right the way down to the kitchen. The really important thing is having space around the action. You imagine that we've got the HD camera, which is about kind of that big. You've got an operator on the end of it. You've probably got a grip behind him. You've probably got a focus puller by the side. You know, that's like having, um, I don't know, a little two-seater sofa moving around the set all the time. You're in Mitchell's room. I love this room because it's sort of coffin shaped. One of the things about Mitchell, of course, being a vampire is that he doesn't like the daylight. So whenever he's in here, the blinds are always down. But the real trick is this wardrobe to Narnia, which actually goes through into the living room. So here we are in Annie's room. This is her chair. She doesn't need a bed in her room. Um, her world is that chair. It's something that I wanted for her, that she sat in a, in a large, oversized chair. So she always looked sort of rather vulnerable. This pink was chosen from this wallpaper, which is a 40s wallpaper, actually. Very old, um, a type of pink that you don't find anymore. A real soft, gray, dusty pink. And this wallpaper was actually quite difficult to put up. It was so fragile. We've got a photographic backing out there which is actually taken from the windows on location so that we've got a direct match to the view out of her window. So this is Annie's room and I think the next place we should go to is the bathroom and then George's room. Here we are in the bathroom. Real bathroom furniture which has all been reclaimed. Real tiles, plywood walls. And if you come around over here, and I'll show you another way out of this set into George's bedroom. So here we are climbing into George's room through his wardrobe. The thing that I love most of all is this period wallpaper here with the gnomes. I'd imagine that, that they tossed a coin and George had ended up in the old kid's room uh, with this lovely gnome wallpaper in a room that was a little too small for him, particularly considering he's a werewolf. Okay, here we are in the kitchen. We've actually put a real plaster skim onto the flattage here. We've got a plumber in to do all the pipes for our boiler, and it just adds to the texture of the place. It's one of the reasons that I didn't want, you know, completely fitted units. I didn't want it completely decorated, just to make it feel real, because people are like that. People don't generally finish jobs that they start, but amongst the messiness, there is a, a warmth, and that it really is the heart of their home. <laughs> 